Hey, what's up guys? It's me again. Uh, welcome back. I'm in my man cave right now. Uh, it's kind of how it's been set up to this point. Um, using my phone to record, so please excuse uh, the crudeness of this video. But um, yeah, this is my uh, man cave as it is right now. What you're hearing is that little 80s style radio behind me I got set up. But yeah, it's a work in progress. Uh, if you've seen my other videos uh, in the past, then you you know you saw like a huge uh, backdrop. You know I had posters everywhere. I'm not gonna go as crazy as I did before in my previous man cave, but um, I'm gonna keep it kind of minimal. I want to do like a minimalist thing. I want to kind of keep it minimal. Uh, just only things that I think are really good that I want on the wall. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do. But anyways, guys, I've got some goodies here. I went out shopping today. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine movies that I picked up. Uh, so yeah, let's get into this little haul that I picked up today. Now, um, you guys are going to be completely shocked uh, when I tell you how much I spent on these movies, okay? So as I said in my other video, I'm not going to go out and just drop hundreds of dollars on movies to you know replenish my collection. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be spending two, three, four dollars buying used Blu-rays, that sort of thing. I'm never probably ever going to get back to how it used to be. But um, I got some hell, hell of good deals on these movies. Uh, I went to Dollar General to get these. Now, um, some of you all already might know this, but Dollar General has a shit ton of really dirt cheap movies, okay? They've got DVDs. I mean, big boxes full of DVDs, big boxes full of Blu-rays. Uh, I just went to my local Dollar General uh, a couple of days ago, and I was like, holy shit, they got a huge collection. And then I was like, wait a minute, they've got like four Dollar Generals in my area. So I just started scouring all these Dollar Generals. And then they, they opened up a brand new Dollar General, and I, I hit the gold mine. Like, this, this Dollar General has got so many Blu-rays, so many DVDs, all for dirt cheap, okay? A lot of them are on clearance. You can get them for like two bucks, three dollars. Uh, I think the highest I spent on a Blu-ray was maybe five bucks. Um, some of the newer titles are a little bit more expensive, but they had clearance clearance deals at the one I went to at this new branch. So uh, let's just go ahead and get right into the stuff that I got. All right, first one I got, uh, James Bond 007 for your eyes only. Um, I used to have the entire James Bond collection. So uh, now I've got uh, some of them on DVD, but I want to get them all again on Blu-ray because I absolutely love James Bond. And this <laughs> this happens to be like my number one or number two favorite James Bond uh, movie of all time. And that is For Your Eyes Only. Awesome movie. I think I made a paid like two bucks for this brand new. Look, it's still got the seal on it. All right. One of my favorite action uh, franchises, and that is Taken. This is the third one, Taken 3. I love Liam Neeson. This is a phenomenal movie. It's the unrated version. Still sealed. Brand new. I think I paid about $2, 3 for this. Can't have one without the other. So I got Taken 2 unrated. Now, I already have uh, Taken 2, but it's the rated R version. So I was like, screw it. I'll pay a couple extra dollars and get the uh, unrated version. Because who wants to watch the movie without having all of the uncut scenes in it? That's no fun. So yeah, I went out and uh, paid a couple extra dollars and got this. Badass. Glad to have that. All right, here's a uh, here's a blind buy. Um, I've never seen this before. I've been wanting to see it over the years, but I just never got around to it. I've seen the first one, um, but here's the sequel. 300, Rise of the Empire. Um, I'm probably going to watch this one tonight because I've been really anxiously wanting to watch this. And uh, oh, this one didn't have a seal. But it... I assure you it is brand new. All right. Here's another blind buy too. Um, I've never even heard of this movie. This must be like a movie that went straight to DVD or straight to Blu-ray or whatever. But needless to say, it's got a really good cast in it. So I'm, 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 I'm kind of curious to see this. I might watch this one tonight too. And that is Runner, Runner. Or I don't know if it's just Runner. But it says Runner, Runner. So I don't know if it's just Runner or Runner, Runner. But anyways, it looks like a pretty cool movie. It's got a good write-up on it. Uh, it's got Justin Timberlake. Uh, he's kind of hit or miss. I like a couple of his movies. I think he's a better artist than he is, uh, you know, an actor. But we'll see. Uh, 
I don't know who this woman is, but Gemma, Gemma Arterton, Arterton. I've seen her in a couple movies. And uh, of course, Ben Affleck. Let me know in the comment section if you've seen this movie and uh, what your thoughts are on it. Uh, I, I was kind of in the mood for something different. Um, this one looks kind of cool. It's like a couple dudes that are like running from something. I mean, offhand, I just quickly read it, but I will uh, write in the comment section after I watch it what my thoughts are and give you guys kind of like a little mini review in the comment section of what I think of this movie. And that was uh, that one sealed as well. That was a couple bucks. Here's another uh, awesome film. Um, a lot of people, some people like this this franchise. Some people don't. Uh, I, I I like it. I, I think the sequels were a little bit better, but uh, the Purge. I've kind of I've really enjoyed the films. Um, I had this one previously, so it was cheap, so I picked it up. Yeah, Purge. Now. I, I've seen this, uh, like, just bits and pieces of it, you know, like, I see it on TV, and then, like, you know, I never get to make it through the entire movie, so I picked it up because I really wanted to watch it from beginning to end, and I've always liked the original three, so I wanted to add this to my collection, and that is the uh, RoboCop remake. Uh, I'm definitely going to watch this from beginning to end. Um, it's got Michael Keaton in it, and I'm a huge Michael Keaton fan, so that, that alone is a reason for me to buy this. And that was a couple bucks. Now, this was a freaking steal here, guys. Now, you, you may like this film, you may not. So it all depends on if you're a fan of this movie or a fan of this franchise. But, man, for the price I paid for this, look, I bought the Hangover 2 Steelbook. Okay? Dude, look at that. The freaking Steelbook. This was $3 in clearance, okay? Brand new. All I did was pull the wrapper off of it, okay? Brand new. Your local Dollar General has got all these movies there right now waiting for you to buy them okay just if you haven't if you haven't realized it yet okay now the last one that i got and this is a personal favorite of mine um i think i might have talked about it when i was doing my zombie uh left behind series i was kind of talking about different zombie films uh this is a george romero film i'm a huge george romero fan um rest is rest rest in peace george romero passed away a couple years ago uh this was uh I believe this was the last the last zombie film in his series, if I'm not mistaken, that he made. And that is Survival of the Dead. Awesome film, okay? This is a highly underrated George Romero film. I, I, I actually like this better than Diary of the Dead. Diary of the Dead is kind of like my least favorite. It's, it's like a found footage film. Uh, not a big fan of found footage. Um, this one's kind of got like a unique premise to it. It's kind of like two feuding families that are on this... Uh, um, isolated islands, and then one family wants to uh, um, protect the zombies because they want to eventually have a cure so they can cure their, their loved ones. And then the other family wants to kill all the zombie, zombies. So these two families on this island are feuding over what happens to the zombies. And that's why they call it Survival of the Dead. Um, I used to have it on Blu-ray. It had a cool uh, lenticular um, design on the case. I don't have that anymore, but it was on DVD, and I was like, damn, I need to get this. I'm going to get it again on Blu-ray. It's, it's that good of a film, but yeah. So a quick little recap, guys. I got all these films. Look, I paid $25 for all these. $25. I'm not exaggerating. $25 bucks will get you all these from Dollar General. So if you want movies and you want to quickly build your collection, or uh, you, know, you just want to go check it out, and you might find one or two movies that you want, now is the time to do it. Uh, I can't speak for all the Dollar Generals because they're, they're all hit or miss. I mean, I've got four of them in my town. I mean, they have a lot of the same similar titles in each place I went to. But then you go, like I went to the newest one, the one that just opened up, and it's like, I mean, I'm boxes upon boxes and boxes of like Blu-rays, insane amount of Blu-rays. They had so many Blu-rays that like these, a lot of these were on clearance. They're like trying to get rid of them for whatever reason. Um, so I can't, I don't even know if they're going to be the same price. Like, for instance, uh, this Taken 3 was on clearance at the one I went to and bought it from. But then the, one, the other one in town, it was like 4 bucks. So it, it really all depends. It's all hit or miss. But yeah, Survival of the Dead, The Hangover Part 2, Robocop, The Purge, uh, Runner, Runner, or Runner, I don't know if that's what it's called. 300 Rise of the Machines, or Rise of the Empire, uh, Taken 2, Taken 3, and then For Your Eyes Only, 007. All right. Last but not least... Since I got all these movies, I'm going to christen 
my man cave tonight. So this is the first time that I've actually hung out in my new man cave. So I went out and, uh, you know, look, I've been, I've lost a lot of weight and I'm, I'm actually going to splurge tonight. When I was at the Dollar, the, uh, Dollar General, I got myself some flaming Hot Cheetos. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a couple of these bad boys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Excuse me if I'm eating and talking. I don't think you guys mind. But uh, I'm also going to uh, have a little bit of wine. And I'm going to mix it in with some bubbly. A little bit of bubbly. Make myself a little spritzer. Because you know what? I realize I've, as I've gotten older, I don't really drink to get drunk. Like I used to when I was a little kid. Or when I was a teenager. I drink to kind of just drink and relax. You know? I don't want anything super heavy. Uh, I do, you know, want to kind of maintain my physique a little bit. So I don't want to go all out. So, you know, I'm going to have a little bit of wine. But I'm going to water it down a little bit with some little, little bit of bubbly. You know, mix it up a little bit. But yeah, guys. That is my haul. This is my man cave. And uh, you all know what I'm going to do tonight. So uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm going to have some more news coming up. Um, right now, I'm just waiting for some... Uh, I got to get the, the software to be able to actually you know, make my videos like I used to, uh, my buddy James Grimm, you all probably follow his channel too. Uh, he gave me a recommendation on the software. I've I'm kind of out of the loop. Um, the software that I used to use is kind of old and I think I actually misplaced the disc. So, uh, for, for the time being, I'm not going to be doing any intros or anything like that, but as soon as I get my new software in the mail, I'm going to be making my, you know, my videos look all polished and having nice, nice intros. And, uh, I'm, I'm going to, my first video I'm going to detail exactly how my channel, what I'm going to be doing and where I'm taking my channel. But uh, I thought this was a good way to kind of introduce you all to my man cave. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Until next time, guys. Peace.